Wrapping things up here down on the field, a big win for Quinnipiac as they win the second of our semifinals today, 8-4 to four over Monmouth, and a big reason why this young lady right here, congratulations on a great game. Thank you very much. Why don't you talk a little bit about it's been a kind of a different story back and forth, whether or not you're getting in the game, not getting in the game. You got the start today, and boy, it really paid off. Yeah, it was um, a rough start in the beginning. I didn't have that many great games, but I knew I had to bring it today. I always practice hard, hoping that I would have this opportunity, and I took advantage of it. Is important, and now we just got to win Sunday now. Talk about as as a goalie. I mean, it, it's a position we've talked about it the last couple of games. You could, not that you did today, but you could give up 10 goals and have a great game. Today you give up four and have even a better game. It was one of those games that did you make a save early on that now all of a sudden you're like, I know I'm in the zone today. Yeah, after the first goal, I realized I really had to get into the, my mindset, really get into the game. And after I made a couple of good saves after there to keep us in, and I knew from then on the defense was playing great. I have to give them the credit they deserve. And I just knew that I had to save it to keep us in the game, and Monmouth really brought it. So uh, I had a great season, and, you know, I just had to keep saving the ball. Now you got one more <laughs> you got one more opportunity to play on Sunday. Obviously, it's against the big rival in Sacred Heart, a team that you just lost to the other day. Um, it'll be nice to get a little revenge factor in this one. Yeah, uh, three times a charm, three years in a row on their own turf. We'd love to beat them. So we we'll just have to bring it, play like we did today, and I think we got it in the bag. Noel Martello, congratulations. Go celebrate with your team. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Coach, uh, first of all, a great win today. I mean, this is, as we just talked about a second ago, this was either going to be a great move for you, changing goalies, or it's going to be one that maybe you were kicking yourself for a little bit. Noel really played an unbelievable game today. Yeah, I think she made me look like the smartest coach at the conference today, so I was really happy. Um, for her, she has been working hard all season, and when she went through a little bit of a slump, she had a really positive attitude, was very supportive of Lexi, and, you know, I think Lexi couldn't be happier for Noel too. So it's, they have a great relationship, and it's nice to know if one's not getting it done, the other one's ready to step up. We talked about during the uh, course of the game, you had some great success in the first half, having a lot of your plays and a lot of your goals come off of being back behind the goal. Uh, I mean, that must be something that you do, obviously, during the course of the whole year. But you have some players that can really do it very well. We do. And honestly, you know, Katie Latonic was great for us today. She is traditionally a behind-the-goal line feeder. And this year we asked her to do a little bit more coming out up top and working it from there. But Monmouth played a defensive style where they didn't put any pressure on the feeder. So she went back to, you know, where, where she really wants to be, and she made them pay for it. Thought uh, very good games today. Not not obviously defensively with with Martello doing her job and the players in front of her. Was very impressed with the play of of two of your more attacking players, Guerrera and Matuzak. I thought were high energy players for you today. They definitely are. We're lucky that we have some uh, spark plugs in the midfield, and I think you know the biggest thing for us is just whoever's got the hot hand getting the ball in their stick and being able to let them go and not being afraid to take some chances. We hate to be cliche here, but it, it is kind of like deja vu all over again third year in a row that you will play Sacred Heart in the finals. They've gotten you the last two. They beat you just this past week. To, to have the tournament here rather than with you guys, it's got to be something that is, is kind of weighing on the minds of you and the rest of the players. It is. I think it's a real, you know, motivational thing for us. We need to come out strong and, you know, make sure we don't let them get in our heads early. I think we know that we can compete with them. I think they have the championship experience, so we're going to have to make sure that, you know, we don't allow them to capitalize on our mistakes. When they make mistakes, we have to be ready to make and pay for it. Coach Carroll, congratulations. Uh, thanks for a couple minutes. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Danny Carroll down here on the sideline with us, wrapping things up with her, uh, really the MVP of the game today. That was Noel Martello, who made big save after big save. As we say goodbye here from Fairfield and Sacred Heart University, we remind you that we're back on the air on Sunday for the final between the Pioneers and the Bobcats. It's an all-Connecticut final. It comes up at 1 o'clock. We'll be back on the air here on NortheastConference.tv. Quick reminder and a refresher from the last couple of games, Sacred Heart beats Mount St. Mary's 14-5 to in the opener. Quinnipiac knocks off Monmouth here in the second of the semifinals, 8-4. to We'll see you on Sunday afternoon. Matt Harmon for the entire crew of Pack Network. We uh, wish you a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you Sunday on northeastconference.tv.